<laughs> hey folks, I am the Mighty Plantain and I am really excited. I have here what is basically the holy grail for me of the of brewing. Uh, this is Dogfish Head's 120 minute IPA aged in Utopia's barrels. Uh, the 120 minute IPA is kind of like the pinnacle of what Dogfish Head does with IPAs. It's continually hopped throughout a two hour boil and then it's aged and left and oh, it's just like this really complex, well put together IPA. And it's an Imperial, of course. This stuff only comes out once every couple of years, I think. Same as Sam Adams Utopias. Now the Utopias, I wanna say it's almost like a beer schnapps because it's basically beer that's long-term aged and it does get distilled to a certain point. Um, it aged in barrels and, and then just it, it's distilled boy uh, uh, no matter loss for words i'm just really excited to have this anyway if you know what you the sam adams utopias are you know they're kind of like this hugely complex process of making an, an incredibly unique and different product every couple of years there as well i think it's only released every two years same as the 120 minute anyway what they started doing and I think this was post merger of Dogfish Head and the Boston Beer Company is they, they, they started aging the 120 minute IPA in the freshly emptied Utopia's barrels. And at least around here, local beer stores that actually get this in only get like one case at a time. So by the time I find out that it's there, it's fucking gone. So for the past couple of years, the past couple of releases of this that it's come out, I think it's been a few years anyway. Um, anyway, I've been trying to get my hands on it, but it's always gone before I even find out it's in the store. Today I just randomly stopped into the Damon's in Augusta, which I don't hit up as often as I used to because it's just not on my way to anywhere. And right there in front of me, there it is. Um, now, that's 45 bucks for a four pack. So this is the only one that's getting drank right now. The other three are getting aged a little longer. Anytime you see this cap on a dogfish head bottle, it's because that beer can be, it is basically, it's optimal if you age it for a little while. Or, pardon. Um, I don't know, I guess I just, I should have read up a little bit more about both the Utopias and the 120 minutes so I can give you guys some, some more information or backstory. But if you're tuning into this video, you probably know enough about it as is. You can look it up online. Um, I will say this one thing about Boston Beer Company, they, they continue to get a lot of things right and they've allowed Dogfish Head to continue to innovate and do creative things, which is great which is great. Like I said, Boston Beer Company is still getting a lot of things right. Even if one of the things they fucking got wrong is their own flagship beer. Fucking, you broke Boston Lager. Fix it. All right. I'm not going off on that table today. This is all about 120 minute. IPA aged in Utopia's barrels. Oh, man. Oh, I did not get a very good head on that. That's okay. Oh, it looks almost syrupy. I'm not getting much of an aroma off of it from this far away. Usually I get some real hoppiness. Maybe it got mellowed out by that barrel aging. Oh my god. That is, it just, it looks thick and hazy. Like I said, when I was pouring it out, it looked almost syrupy. It had like this golden sheen to it and just looked thick. This haziness is making it look thick in the glass. It almost looks like a brewed tea. It's um, kind of swirly up here. It's a little effervescent, but it gets dark in the center of the liquid very quickly. It's, it's not like completely dark, dark, but it's, it definitely, <laughs> Darkens up quick. Whoops, that was my finger slipping on the button there. Holy crap. Ooh. Now, it has an aroma that I kind of would have expected 
is a combination of Utopia's Barrels and the 120 Minute IPA. There's like this mellow, almost sweet hoppiness there, but I'm getting notes of wood and almost, almost a whiskey aroma. Definitely woody, like, like a, almost a dank woodiness. That it's just, it. I don't know when it's reminiscent of, but it's bringing up a lot of different associations and it's just, it just smells amazing. I mentioned it's dank and woody. It, it's giving me like this weird um, cellar, like a wood cellar. Yeah, um, image in my mind. And it, that's not an unpleasant thing, like a dirt floor wood cellar with a bunch of different types of wood in there waiting to be burned in the furnace. I mean, anyway, it smells fucking amazing. Here we go. It's definitely got the kick to it that the 120 minute IPA does. Um, it, it reminds me sometimes of like a hop wine. And I believe that part of the reason for that is that they do use wine yeasts in order to bump up the uh, ABV in the 120 minute. Let's see, it comes in at 17% this time around. That's variable. I think it changes each time they do it because they're not always exactly the same. But it's a very smooth 17%. That being said, I still need to be careful with this. Um, it's more mellow than I'm used to from the 120 minute. Not that I've had a lot of them, but I do try to snag them from time to time when they're available. Um, I'm pretty sure that being barrel aged in, in oak barrels that have previously been used has definitely helped mellow it out. But there's that hop wine flavor. I'm not getting any particular notes. Maybe a hint of dankness. Um, possibly. Let's see, I say I'm not getting any, but the more I think about it, the more they're kind of there. And definitely some dankness. Um, <clears throat> possibly some citrusy and piney notes. But on top of that, and there's definitely an oakiness. Was it oak barrels? This beer was contained freshly emptied to Utopia's barrels. I think Utopia's goes into oak. Anyway, um, there's definitely that distinct woodiness and hints of the Utopia's. It's been a little while since I've had them. I bought a bottle one time. And then um, it was being poured at a brew fest another time. I, I, it's usually poured at extreme brew fest, but uh, I don't deign to wait in line to get it because the line starts like an hour before they start pouring and you're waiting in line. The whole time you're waiting in line, you could be trying, you know, a bunch of other beers and you're missing out on all that sampling. But the last time we were at extreme brew fest, boosh, Shout out to you, buddy. Um, went and got in line for the Utopias and uh, was very generous in sharing the sampling with the rest of us, so we much appreciate that. Anyway. <sighs> I'm definitely getting a distinct flavor of the Utopias, but it's, a, it's very mild, I mean, obviously. You're just getting a hint of what was left in the wood from the barrel seeping into this beer. Um, I, I'm loving this. It, it's woody. It's hoppy. It's slightly wine-like. It's very complex. It's almost a little bit smoky. Definitely smoky and dank. 
Um, I think I didn't mention up top, it's got a nice medium mouth feel. It's not, um, it's not too heavy, not too light. It, it, I'm almost getting like this, I mentioned that it looks like a, a brewed, I think I mentioned that it looks like a brewed tea. I'm getting a hint of that flavor as well. Pardon, even the belches are pleasant. Um, I don't know. It's, it's hard to define, I guess. And the more of it I drink, <laughs> the smoother it gets. <laughs> I mean, at 17%, that's partially because I'm just taking it all in. Um, I don't know. I, I'm at a lack of words to describe it. I think I've, I've used everything <laughs> that I'm getting up front without starting to repeat myself, which I've already done a couple of times. It just, it's different. It's not like anything else. It's kind of like what you would expect if you've had the 120 minute IPA and if you've had Utopias. Again, the Utopias is just a very faint influence because it's not actually in here. This was the 120 minute was just placed in the barrels that the Utopias were aged in, but it's picking up a slight hint of that same flavor plus the woody character of the barrels is just bringing the 120 minute IPA, which is already an amazing beer on its own, to this next level of complexity and mellowing out some of the more harsh elements of the 120 minute IPA. There's almost a hint of sweetness there too. It's amazing. Um, I don't know. I again, I, I'm, I'm at a lack of words. It's just fucking euphoric. I, I'm sorry. That sounds like a huge exaggeration, but it it this, this is something else entirely. And I, like I said, I bought the four pack. I put three of them in my closet to age. I don't have a cellar here. It's a double wide. Um closet's the closest thing I have to a cellar because it stays dark most of the time and it's fairly cool without freezing. Anyway, um, so those three are going to sit in there as long as I can leave them in there. Um, I don't know. I, I almost want to break into another one already, but I'll deny myself that and save them for a special treat, but Yeah, holy shit. I mean, not needless to say, it's a full-on five out of five. Uh, there is nothing that I don't like about this beer, this experience, the idea behind it. Everything is just fucking amazing. And um, that's where it's at. Anyway, I'm sorry I didn't do an adequate job of really giving you all the different flavor and nuances in this beer. At least I don't feel like I did because yeah, that is what it is. Anyway, hit me up down below in the comments or the email link. Love to hear what you have to say about the Utopia's barrel aged 120 minute IPA. While you're down there, don't forget to like and share the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, folks, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.